Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at in the world. Thank you so much for joining us here today. So, I want to ask you a question here today. What is your superpower? You have a superpower. And do you really know what your superpower is? A lot of people will say they don't know what their superpower is. They'll say they don't have a superpower because they're not Superman, Wonder Woman, or whoever super being there is out there. But that is a misconception. You have a superpower. I know, you're going to argue with me telling me you don't, but it's true, you do. Do you realize that all of the vibrations, the energy, the motivation that you put out there, that you push forward, is part of your superpower? I didn't say it was your total superpower. It is part of your superpower. And your superpower is all connected with your emotions. It is connected with vibrations. It is all a mixture of all of the wonderful things that you put forward and these are the inspirations the motivations whatever you have that you get that you want to succeed that you're trying to succeed or whatever it is that you're doing and you're doing a fabulous job and you know we were born with this superpower from the time of birth from the time you were born you enabled your superpower to be there you enabled your superpower so why is it that so many of us all of us people so many of us are taking our superpower for granted and not even acknowledging what this power is doing for us or against us we do use it against ourselves individually we it's a fact we do so knowing now that you have this superpower that you are not using to the full extent of your abilities what do you think is your first thought to do are you going to try to look and see what your superpower is I mean come on you know you want to look and see what your superpower is right well you know what the superpower is right there it's just always right there in front of you it's right there when you look in the mirror it's right there when you're thinking it's right there when you're reading something so what is this superpower that has got you bamboozled, so to speak? I mean, it literally, and I mean it sincerely. Most of us, when we get right down to tactics, we do not even realize we have this awesome power within ourselves. And what is that power? It's not just to manifest, which you want to be manifesting every day. So you want to be manifesting good things that you desire. You want to be manifesting the lifestyle. You want to be manifesting the, the systems, the campaigns, whatever it is you're working on. You want to be manifesting all these wonderful things for yourself. And how do you ignite your superpower to make it easier and make it more fluent and just come forward for you so simply? Think about it. I mean, really, think about it. Okay, this is all about thoughts and vibrations and what you're doing. So what is your superpower? Your superpower is learning. It's something we have done since we were born. From the minute you're born, what's the first thing you do? What's the first thing you learned? How to breathe. You learn to breathe. Open your eyes. So your vision's not quite clear enough yet when you're first born. It's a little fuzzy. That's okay. That's the way it is. That's how we get adjusted to the lights and everything around us. But your superpower is learning. And like I said, you've done it since you were born. It is a gift from God that you have a brain. I know some people, like you guys are going to be at, especially on the replay, you're going to be saying, oh, God, Christy, you've done lost your mind now. You've done, went crazy. You, you're doing all this now. I can hear it already. But I want to tell you, it's true. You can go through all the facts. You can go through all the research and everything. You can do all the studies. And it's all going to come down to the same thing we're talking about right now. Because I always do my research before I release any type of knowledge to you guys. I always do my research. 
So what happens when you are learning different systems, you're learning different strategies. I mean, you went through school, you learned how to read and write and do math and you learned how to, you know, play sports, you learned how to play basketball, baseball, you learned how to do jumping jacks, you learned how to stretch, you learned how to run really fast and track, you learned how to do all of these things, you learned how to grow, you have learned how to work out at the gym, you go into a job, what happens, you have to learn the systems, you have to learn the routine. You're always learning something. You had to learn how to drive a car. You had to learn how to ride a motorcycle, a bicycle, a scooter, a skateboard. You had to learn how to do all of these things. So there's no way you cannot tell yourself that that is not your superpower because you know the amazing things you can do with this power. It is outstandingly amazing. That's why there are so many people that use their superpower to create and invent. Like we have social media. That's all these brains that created this thing. We're all using it for free. Yeah, get it for free. It's warping our brains sometimes, but we're using it. Yeah, we are. And then there's people that have invented vaccines to help cure us when we're ill. And that's Big Pharma, and we're not going to go too much into that because they're not happy. No, they're not good. So, but we use our big brains, our superpower brains, to invent, to create everything from houses to automobiles to planes to jets, which is similar to a plane, I guess. You know, to everything we want, to factories to produce what we need for ways of producing our food you know we learned how to be a farmer we learned how to grow the vegetables the weeds the hay you know whatever it is the trees everything we've had to learn how to do this we weren't born with the knowledge on how to do each thing so knowing now that really your brain is your superpower that your brain will give you anything you truly want in life as long as you have it attached to the emotions that you want to have. For example, you can't manifest what you want when you have an emotion of lack, when you have an emotion of, well, just because so-and-so could do that doesn't mean I can because I wasn't born with that. I wasn't born with that knowledge. I wasn't born with, you know, being able to do that you were born to learn you were born to be who you are you came into this world knowing exactly what you needed to do knowing exactly what needed to happen for you individually you somewhere along the way you got programmed from your family from teachers from adults around you on what they thought was best and no putting anybody down we all have done the best we can with our children and with the young people around us. So as you're going through this phase and you're looking now at your superpower as being something so amazing that is either helping you launch you forward or it's holding you back. And it's true. Your brain holds you back every single day because your subconscious doesn't want you to be hurt in any way. Your subconscious wants to give you what you want. So, example, if you go to bed at night, of course you do, but when you do, do you go to bed thinking about everything you didn't do today or everything you didn't get done or, you know, how bad things are or how you're never going to get the promotion, you're never going to get what you want or how everything is just awful, it's just terrible. I can't wait to get this day over. If you go to bed like that, your subconscious is working like crazy all night figuring out how to give you more of that trying to figure out how to give you more of what you're thinking and feeling because that emotion is so strong that feeling is so strong that it's going to give you that so what I do and you can try this or not it's up to you but what I do is when I go to bed at night I say 10 things I'm grateful for throughout my day 10 things that I'm grateful for that happened doesn't matter what it is 
doesn't matter if I had coffee in the morning. It doesn't matter if I was brushing my teeth. I'm grateful. At night, I say 10 things, <coughs> excuse me, I'm grateful for. And I go to bed with a positive thought and a feeling of, I am successful in creating everything I want in my life. And it's all here for me. And when I do this, and when I am that focused on what I'm doing and what I want, there's no way I'm not going to get it. Excuse me. <coughs> Everything is blooming out there today. It's great. I'm not I'm not in dissonant because I love spring. It loves it's just I love it. And it's just the blooming is making my allergies act up. So, but your vibration, your emotion, that is what is ruling your life. So you have to get over that. You have to get over that thought or that thing that you have going on that I can't do this or I'm I I won't succeed. I'm not succeeding at that. I'm not succeeding with this. You are succeeding. You are successful in what you are thinking about and what you're feeling. Whatever your thoughts and feelings are, you are succeeding at creating that. So it's not what your conscious mind wants. Change that. Simple. Change that. You don't have to think that. If you start thinking that, push it away and say, you know what? I don't need you anymore. I don't need that. So if you're working on systems and you're trying to get your home business off the ground, which a lot of people are, and it's already April, guys. Don't wait. You've got to get yourself out there. You've got to get going because you know what? The time stops for no one. Time is one thing I can't afford. I mean, time is one thing I cannot afford because it's a gift. It's a gift from God. We get 24 hours a day, and that's what we get. So... With this power, you have the power to learn and do whatever you choose to do. So if you're trying to learn how to work a system, if you're learning how to create a program, if you're learning how to grow your business, how to get leads, how to do everything, why aren't you listening to people that are already doing it? Why aren't you using your big power brain and attaching and listening and getting in groups with these people and maybe joining their team or whatever it is they're offering. And get in there and learn from the best. Learn from people that are already doing it. Because theory is, and this is a proven theory, is once somebody does something, anybody can do it. So even if you're the first one to do something, doesn't mean it can't be done. It means you did it and it's done. And now anybody can do it because the system's out there. The strategies out there and so many people can follow that and that's what we do here online we teach people what we're doing and how to grow and how to be successful and how to manifest and be that person that you want to be so if you don't take advantage when someone's offering you a course or a training what do you do no, really, what do you do? Do you ignore it? When there had to be a reason why you came up with this. There's had to be a reason why you clicked on to this person. There had to be a reason why you were looking at this person. Something drew you to that area. Something drew you there. So if you're not taking advantage of the situations when it happens, whose fault is that if you do not succeed? You can beat yourself up all you want, but you know what? The reality is you're not meant to be poor. You're not meant not to have what you want in life. You're not meant to not have success. You are meant for success. You are meant to be wealthy. You are meant to have the life you choose to have. So I encourage you today to change your thoughts and use your superpower brain. It is so amazing the things you can do with your brain. You know, we all learn new things. Every single day we learn something new. So when you do, and you're learning more, and you're looking at the people that are already doing this, I get so many calls and so many messages a day saying, how are you doing that? And I want to do that too. I want to go to your team. I want to be there. I want to be with doing what you're doing. And you know what? Those are the people that have stepped out of their comfort zone and decided, yeah, I'm going to do that. 
I am doing that. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going. When I started it, it took me forever to get it done, to get it right. I was an executive, a corporate executive, and I totally did not get it. Online was totally different. So if you find yourself in this position, look to people who are already doing it. Why not? You can do this. Okay, super brains. I would like to take this time to say thank you so much for sharing your superpower with me today. And thank you for liking and sharing this video. Not only is it going to get this video out, but it's also going to get your name out there. Because whoever shares this, you know your name is attached to it. And that means people are going to be looking at you, which is what you want. Branding you. So, please like and share this video. And also, I have a link up here to my newsletter. If anyone is interested in getting on my newsletter, you get all the fun stuff I offer to my team, my group. Uh, they get it first. Everybody knows. Yes. And also, go over to YouTube and please subscribe to our channel. And for everyone coming on the replay, please put in replay. And let's get this party rolling. Okay, y'all, thank you so much for joining. And again, you have a super brain, and I know you're going to use it to the best of your ability. Okay, I will chat with you later.